So we talked about planning what my rocket will do in space, but I still need to learn about rocket engines so I can get off the ground. All right, let's talk engines. First, you'll need to understand propulsion, and then I can explain the different engine systems. Well, I know my car engine uses propulsion in order for me to drive. Right, so propulsion is the act of pushing or moving something forward. But isn't a rocket a lot different than my car? Since to launch, you don't just gas up and turn the key? Not as different as you'd think. A rocket's engine will need fuel and a fuel tank, just like your car. I bet a rocket's fuel tank is huge. It is. The whole rocket is mostly tanks, and the booster is what holds these tanks right here. One for fuel and one for oxidizer. Wait, explain oxidizer. The oxidizer provides oxygen to the engine to help it burn. The fuel and oxidizer need to be mixed at precise ratios in order to produce the right force from the engine. The atmosphere gets thinner as I get higher, right? Right. So I will plan to bring extra oxygen so that my rocket can burn in the atmosphere and in the vacuum of space. Once you start your engine, the fuel and oxidizer are drawn from the tanks, mixed together, and ignited in a combustion chamber. Which is visible during liftoff when the heat and gases are shot out of the bottom of the rocket. Out of the engine nozzle. And Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Glad you remember. Meaning our rocket will be driven forward. Well, no, not forward, upwards. Oh, uh, right. But that's just one type of engine system, the liquid fuel engine. You can also use solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, which use solid states of fuel and oxidizer already mixed together. I've seen those before. I can attach up to five to the outside of an Atlas V booster, right? Right. When SRBs are ignited, the entire booster tank becomes a combustion chamber, pushing hot gases out of the nozzle to create thrust. So how do I choose which one to use, liquid or solid? Well, it depends on how much thrust you need. If I need more thrust, I can add SRBs, right? Yes, but SRBs keep going once they're lit, and they only stop when they run out of fuel. However, the liquid engine can be started and stopped after ignition. Giving us control to move around in space. Well, what are we waiting around for, James? Let's go. Here we go again. Mm -hmm.